this was a time that I had so much going on involved into the street life that sometimes I don't really like to share with people. You know, I'm so ashamed of some of the stuff that I did out there. I don't even like to share it with people because right now today, I could never see myself ever even attempting to go back in that situation or go back off into that lifestyle. Think back to the mistakes you've made as an 11 year old child. Try to imagine that one single mistake would lead to a life of violence, pain, and misery. Growing up in Shreveport, Louisiana, I was the fourth child to my mother with six siblings. We grew up uh, poor. My father and my mom divorced when I was very young. My father was supporting us through child support as well, coming to get me and my brother. My mom was still working on two jobs, and she barely had time to supervise us. So that led me to take up on looking at father figures outside of you know my household. That's why I met some of the kids that was involved in a lot of different illegal activities who were skipping school, smoking, stealing, just that's where a lot of the negative stuff that I accepted and brought into my life started to happen at. A simple theft of a bicycle would set Sam into a deeper path into criminality by being exposed to the criminal justice system at a young age. Started to get involved in the likes of crime around 11 years old. That's when I started getting arrested and I was going in front of a court judge. And the judge gave me an option to go to a boy's home or to go stay with my father because my father was in the process of moving to Houston to a new job. And remember, I'm 11 years old. So this was a, a very silly decision I made, but I decided not to go stay with my father. I, I decided to go to the boy's home. Now I was introduced to more criminals, and they was a group of kids from all over the state of Louisiana. My mind frame was more focused on doing what was negative. My life took a turn that I never could imagine. From the age of 11 to 17, Sam was in a continuous cycle of violent acts, illegal drug use, and theft. He was steadily building a criminal resume as a young teenager, and in doing so, he would be involved in an incident that would forever alter his adult life moving forward. And this incident led me to be arrested and sentenced to 25 years in federal prison and 30 years in state prison. 